Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina kareem. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'ah. Ayyuh al habba the heart is a very precious organ and the heart is between the fingers of, uh, of Ar-Rahman the heart is between the fingers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the heart ayu al habba in Arabic it's referred to one of the names it's referred to as the qalb and it's referred to the qalb some of the Arabic linguists say that the reason it is called the qalb is because the verb that comes from it qalaba yaqlabu that it is always ever changing you know meaning to turn so that the heart is ever changing going from state to state ayyuhal habba what this means for us is that our iman our faith it fluctuates sometimes it's high sometimes it's low and that we're affected by the sins and the actions that we do for example if we do something good something that is righteous and khair then this helps to increase our iman and if we do something sinful that Islam looks as, as a sinful thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes or hates then this ayu al habba it decreases our iman so our iman is in flux and the heart is ever changing and we have the potential for both good and evil and this is why in the hadith of Nu'man ibn Bashir I believe radiallahu ta'ala anhu at the end of the hadith the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said inna fi jizid mudghatin فَإِذَا سَلَحَ سَلَحَ جِزِدَ كُلُّهُ وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ جِزِدَ كُلُّهُ أَلَا وَهِيَ قَلْبُ The Prophet ﷺ said, as was reported in Sahih Muslim, he said, Verily in the heart is a morsel of flesh. And if that morsel of flesh is healthy, then the whole body is healthy. And if that morsel of flesh is sick, then the whole body is sick. Verily, it's the heart. Ayyuhallah Habba, we have to do our utmost to strive to care for our hearts. And I want to encourage myself first and foremost, and those listening, to take great pains and concern yourself with purifying yourself and purifying your heart and coming back to Allah and evaluating yourself, seeing where your shortcomings are, seeing that am I making for the men, am I making Fajr prayer in the masjid or am I making any prayers in the masjid even? Am I joining the congregational prayer? Am I, by, am I praying my prayers on time? Am I supplicating to Allah often and making dhikr? You know, remind, re, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Am I asking Him? Am I, am I seeking His forgiveness? Making His dhikfar for the things I do knowingly and unknowingly? Ask yourself that. And that will be a means to help you and gain success in this life and more importantly in the hereafter as well as it will help you purify your heart 
Am I reading the Quran like I should? Ask yourself those things. And then begin to implement it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who follow righteousness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.